viewers once again. We are now in front of another MLS harvest table, Mark Stout, with his presentation of various products here. And basically, if you can tell us your philosophy, your ideas, visions of what you see happening on the five market today, what you pursue in your brand, we're all ears. I, I would consider my uh, my pipes uh, more of an American craftsman style. Um, I do uh, smooths and textures. I've been carving for about six years now. Very cool. Uh, I live in Southern California <laughs> and born and raised there. And so. So you're considered a young blood here. Yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the new kids. <laughs> he looks like, are you sure you're legal? I am legal. Yes, I am. <laughs> Darn it. Don't let the beard fool you. I, I, am, I am of age. <laughs> well, I, I noticed your pipes generally sense to be size-wise in the mid-range. You don't have any really small pipes or any large pipes. Generally, about a five-inch pipe is where I'm at. Occasionally, I'll, give, I'll go a little less than that. Very rarely will I go more than five inches. Okay, is there a reason for that? Uh, just what I like to smoke, so I I just make what I like and hopefully I, somebody else likes it too. So. That's actually a very good philosophy. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you see what it is, it actually keeps the carver in touch with his smokers because they seem to have identical tastes. I wanted to ask you, what are your sources of briar? Uh, I get most of, most of my briar that I use is Mimo briar. Okay, and it's I, become uh, very popular lately. Yeah, it's very popular. Uh, I get, Exclusively through uh, uh, Steve Norris mm -hmm. of uh, Vermont Freehand. Okay. Very cool. Any relation to Chuck? I, I don't think so. <laughs> this is cool. I wanted to ask you, um, do you use any kind of curing process, oil curing, air curing process, uh, boiling? I mean, there are various yeah, methods for processing I, I, the wood. I uh, so, uh, work with it as I get it. So I don't, uh, I don't do anything extra to it. It will sit around for a little while, but, uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't do anything to it. What about your stem materials? I see they vary from one by five. Yeah, I do some of them, like put them up. I, I also do some, uh, some briar stems. I'm just for, you know, yeah. so, Ebonite, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's like ebonite? I'm sorry? What's ebonite? Ebonite is the black material. I'd say it's probably the most common. There's lucite, there's ebonite, ashtonite when he combined the two yeah. to give it a soft kind of feeling without any of the tarnishing. But, you know, Ooh. amber, a lot of sources. Well, modern pipes don't use so much amber, but there are, you know, mm -hmm. amber colored other lucite materials. Yeah. Yeah. And what is your favorite pipe on the table? My favorite pipe on the table. Probably be this one. That one. And why? Um, I think just the color combination I really like. I like, I, I, it's just the kind of pipe that I would smoke. Okay, very okay. cool. It's like, fits in the hand. It fits the hand, and it's, it's, just, it's just my style. Oh, very cool. All right, very cool. Mark, it's been a pleasure meeting you. It has. Like yes. cards. We're going to put this up on YouTube. If you're going to be here, we'd still maybe like to ask you something, but right now we got to hit some more tables because people are starting to leave. It seems mm. this year the show is ending a little earlier. Than it's, earlier. Yeah. it's only a quarter after one, but we will be back hopefully to talk again. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Bye.